the shop. Today, uh, after a long conversation, we'll be sharpening and restoring this particular cleaver. For a family member, it should make for some interesting, if not very brief, content. And let's get to it, shall we? Well, that was kind of fun. Let's not talk about having an anvil in your shop sitting around your computer. It fell over and I was able to get the computer working again. But still kind of one of those, you know, are you awake checks? Are you awake and paying attention? So... I'm awake and paying attention. Let me get my computer the hell out of the way. All right. Not going to work. So let's start with green, which is just not fine enough. Let's move on to gray. pretty excited this has already got a compound bevel on it which puts me in a tooting mood to reprofile the blade and when I don't have to reprofile stuff I always get in a good mood it's just probably because I'm naturally lazy oh, super glad that you can still see the uh, trademark down here I think I pictured that earlier. This is a nice old cleaver. And I think my brother will be best pleased with it when I'm done. All right. Yeah, not too shabby there uh, and where are my sharpeners for the layman because I just want to set an edge on this thing here we go or refocus an edge before I switch up to the stones actually going to fit in here or am I going to have to do something else with you? Hopefully. hopefully. That's a nice fit. All right.
that's got the edge set. And so now let's get this guy out of here. Put this vise away. I'll probably trim all this. I suppose next up now that we have a edge established is just taking a minute and setting it up the appropriate angle which is gorgeous Absolutely gorgeous. Angry sharp. Angry sharp, which is the way we like it. So, next up, I suppose, is using the uh, walnut oil. Walnut oil. Oh, not bad. Well, apparently, I've never opened this one. That's kind of exciting in its own exciting in its own right. Hooray! It's open now. Okay. Oh, well, more walnut oil than I wanted, but that's okay. There's a lot of spots on this that need walnut oil. Especially good. Handle. We gotta get down in here. Down in here, real good. Look at all these end grains that are exposed. Get those taken care of. Top of the handle. Slides nice and walnutty. All right, yes, and I'm just gonna leave all this damage here because I think it adds character. Like, who wants a brand new knife anyway? Look, look at all this damage from people whacking on it thusly. That's that's funny. Up. 
Yeah, that's sharp. So I'm going to put a piece of tape on this and send it off to New Mexico. Uh, and let, let me just show you how I do that because if you're not a knife maker, it kind of makes sense that somebody should probably show you this. I've made a knife or two, but I really just prefer to sharpen them. It's kind of kind of my jam. I like sharpening things. Uh, including knives. So I just take some scotch tape and go, uh, you know, pull some of it off and set it over the blade and go like so so that nobody's going to get cut when they go to uh, use this knife in New Mexico when it gets there um, and I'm just going to do that twice in the meantime uh, there's no point in showing this whole ordeal this knife is pretty well finished um, nice and sharp and just another shot of the trademark because I think it's kind of cool that it's still there um, and I got most of the vinyl off of there or the majority of it and cleaned all the plastics off of it and left it with a walnut oil finish this knife blade the edge is sharp enough to really kind of be taken seriously it, it'll it, it will cut you and it doesn't care so time to package this up and get it in motion uh, and I have a few more knives um, that are kind of low priority right now on my list uh, the next series of projects will probably be uh, finishing the features on the anvil which almost killed my computer so I think at this point I don't have an issue abusing it but uh, there'll be some features added to this and and some more cleanup done and that'll be coming up in uh, in the future the the knives and and the anvil and uh, probably if I can get a hold of some materials some more projects thanks for coming along for the ride and I'll hope to see you next time Boo -doo -doo -doo.